welcome back to my channel i'm in the car by a stop sign right now i haven't had time to film my intro but i'm super excited about today's video and i've been very hesitant to post it just because i know how some people can be about this topic um and i really don't want any hate or anything i'm just doing what i love so please don't comment any mean things or anything. I'm trying very hard. Um, so let me just tell you guys what we're doing today. I have orientation for nail school today and I'm super excited. And I've been a part of the nail community for a while. I've been doing my own nails personally for four years. Um, and I've been in nail tech groups on Facebook and I watch YouTube videos. So I know how um, licensed nail techs can, some be, can sometimes be. And I know I should be licensed. Um, unfortunately, I just it hasn't been possible for me um, up until this point. And I've only been taking clients for a few months now, but still, I know I should have been licensed already. Um, but like I said, it hasn't been possible for me up until this point. My school is actually an hour away, and I have been having car issues, and um, I have to. I also had to have a job. I mean, I have two kids, and I have to support and provide for them so it wasn't an option for me to miss work to go to school but it's actually possible now so I'm super excited to be starting I'm just so happy to actually get to go to get the chance so really I don't need any negative comments I know I know so let's just avoid all that right now I know <laughs> but anyways I'm so excited to be going today um orientation it's orientation day so I don't know exactly how I'll film this I don't believe we're getting our books or our kit or anything like that today but um, I'm gonna go meet my teacher and I get to meet all the girls in my class and everything like that oh, there's a on. <laughs> okay best one. so I get to go meet all the girls in my class and um, I'm so excited for that I'm so excited to be meeting my teacher um, but hey, I've been running super late. That's why I'm filming in the car. That's why I don't have any makeup on. Um, but it's 11, 20, it's 11.30 right now. Um, orientation starts at 1. And like I said, it's an hour away from me. So I have to be leaving by 12. I still need to get gas. And right now I'm on the way to my son's school to drop off his project that he left at home today. So I'm trying to really hurry up and rush. But I will catch up with you guys when I get there, okay? So I'll see you then. Okay guys, so I just got here. It's 12.40 now. Um, yeah, so I am I got some time and we're in a plaza. So I think I'm just gonna go do some shopping or whatever. I'll probably go in still a couple minutes early, but I don't wanna go in 20 minutes early. I don't know, just my anxiety. But um, yeah, so I don't really know what we're doing today. So when, when I came for the tour of the school and to do my registration and all that, the actual nail room was under construction so I got to see around like the cosmetology and the esthetician area and the barber area but um I, I didn't get to see the nail room because they said it was under construction and that was only I came like a week and a half ago so I haven't seen it yet I think we're gonna get to see it again I don't know if they'll be done with construction or what but I'm just excited to be here to be starting and it's from one to three so i don't know i guess we're gonna be doing a lot today meaning the teacher is probably going over the cur curriculum and like i said i was hesitant to post this but i think i'm going to because when i was doing all my research about nail school um i love youtube obviously that's why i decided to start doing youtube and because i felt i thought it was important for me to make this because i felt when i was doing when i was looking and like trying to look into nail schools and what to expect there's really not that much information out there about it. Like there's a couple, you can find a couple um, channels that have nail school vlogs and stuff, but I really want to go in depth and bring you guys with me every day and show you what I do or what we're supposed to be doing. I don't really know from what I, from what I gather about most nail schools, it seems like they don't really do much, but we'll see about mine. Hopefully we do a little bit more, but I feel, I know, you know, all my application, um, things and like that I don't you know I want I'm going in open-minded I'm ready to learn everything they're gonna teach me but I feel like I know how to do my application and everything but I want to learn all about the funguses and sanitation and you know all this stuff obviously I have to know the correct way to pass state boards and everything else like that um I'm so disappointed I don't have time to put makeup on but yeah I'm just excited to be here um, so I'm going to really go in depth with the, to you guys with this uh, nail school journey though. I want to take you guys with me for full days. I want to tell you what we're learning or what we're not learning. 
um so that's what i'm gonna be doing i really hope you guys enjoy i hope you follow my journey um i keep saying um <laughs> i'm gonna go now i'll catch you guys after i'll let's see if i can get some footage in there if i'm not too nervous okay hey guys i finished orientation at like 2 50. um it wasn't really it was kind of underwhelming it wasn't quite what i expected but it was just orientation um but we didn't get to see the classroom uh we didn't get to meet our teacher and i didn't get to meet all the girls all the girls weren't there i guess some had orientation on a different day um i stopped and i got chipotle that's why i have a fork in my hand but um so it was cool we really just went over all the rules all the regulations we finished signing all of our paperwork but they were pretty pretty strict on some certain things like like uniform and stuff i can't wear my i can't wear a headband at all i can't wear like how i always have my hair no headbands no head wraps um, you can have jewelry, which is nice, but they are pretty, they're really strict on attendance and like, there's a lot of stuff that they're strict on, which I wasn't even expecting, but I guess it is like a school or whatever. I mean, it is a school. Um, I'm just really excited for the first day. I'm ready to get my kit and my textbook. I'm ready to meet my teachers. I'm ready to meet all the girls in my class. So, you know, it was cool, but I start Monday. So I do start really soon and y'all guys, you guys will see this, see you guys will see Monday in this vlog, so I really hope you enjoy. Um, but that's going to be it for today, Now I'm just going to head home. Hey guys, uh, today is Monday, and it's now the first day of school. It's like 12, it's almost 12 now, it's like 11.40. Um, but my class doesn't start until 5 o'clock, but I have a client coming at 12. And um, I'm assuming it's going to be like a three-hour set, because she needs a full, she needs a soak off, and then a full set, and she usually gets them pretty long. Um, so I scheduled three hours for that and then uh, it's an hour away so I want to be leaving by like 3.40 just so I make sure I don't hit any traffic since it does start at 5 o'clock. I know it's like rush hour and stuff and they're stri very strict on attendance so I do want to get there on time. So I'm going to take my client. I might include it. I don't know. And then I'm already ready to go. I'll show you guys my outfit in a second. It's We have to wear all black so it's nothing special. And... And we'll be leaving after my client a little bit shortly after. And I'll see what I can film for you guys in class today. But I'm going to be getting my kit. I'm going to be uh, meeting my teacher and all the girls. They should actually be here today. So, yeah. I'll see you guys later. Okay, this is my outfit. It's just all black with some black shoes. And that's it. Okay, guys. I'm here now. It's like 3.45. I got here early. I left at my house. I'm right. I'm sorry. It's four. It's like four forty-five. I got here early. I left my house at three forty-five. And I also stopped at Chipotle again. Um, obviously my favorite. But yeah, so I stopped at Chipotle and I still got here early. So that's good. There's not there wasn't traffic like I thought. So I can just leave on time next time. Um, but now I'm just sitting in my car waiting because I don't want to go in too early. So yeah, I'll probably go in at like. 455 or something you know be on time five minutes early is on time okay guys so i'll see what i can film in there and i'm definitely gonna show you guys my kit later when we get home and yeah i'm excited i'm kind of nervous so yeah see you guys later okay guys it's been din it's dinner break now we get 30 minutes for dinner and it's 7 20 right now um i did have the opportunity to film but i didn't I felt uncomfortable. I didn't want to like film people without them knowing and film her speaking and like put her on the internet and not have her know. Um, so I didn't, but we'll go in back. I'll go back in and like we'll have like an hour, a couple minutes left. And we still haven't got our kit. We've just kind of been um, talking, asking questions about the program, going over the course. Um, she's been answering a lot of questions we actually have two teachers they both seem really nice i'm super excited to have them um there's only we're missing a lot of people today apparently <laughs> a lot of people just didn't show up there is uh like 15 of us right now or like less than 15 and there's supposed to be 20 so i don't know but um and we get to see the room obviously we're in our room it's really nice i guess they just bought the like i said it's a building it's in a plaza so the store it looks like it used to be like a clothing store next door they just bought it and they're kind of making it into the whole nail area so it's a lot of it's a big space so it's nice when i with everybody else in the school but i'm gonna hurry up and eat and call my boyfriend so 
and then I'll, I'll update you guys on the kit and everything when I get home. Okay guys, I'm home now finally. I'm back and I've got my kit. This is everything. It's a lot actually. It's a lot more than I was expecting, but this is my kit. This is everything we got. Give me one second while I put the camera back. Okay, so I'm going to get into that in a second, but I just want to touch on some topics first. Every time I film a video or like while I'm preparing to film the video, I'm like thinking, oh, I want to mention this, I want to mention this, I want to mention this, and then I turn the camera on and I forget. So <laughs> if there's anything that I don't answer that you guys want to know, just comment it down below and I'll definitely answer. I'm going to try to remember everything, but I'm already forgetting stuff. But the second half of class after break was actually so much more exciting than the first half. Um, when they start handing out the kits, we actually got some time to like actually start talking to the other girls in class. And I really enjoyed that part, just getting to know everybody. And like we were all kind of warming up by then. We weren't so shy and anxious. <laughs> so we just started talking more. So I like that. I like talking to the girls. And I mean, obviously we got our kits and that was super exciting. Um, we have some girls who are Sorry, my necklace is crooked. We have some girls who were actually in the class the semester before, but they had to take a leave of absence, so they didn't they didn't get all their hours. So we were just talking to them about the course and you know what they've done already and everything. Um, we went over with the teachers more so of what to expect, and we went over what we're going to be doing on Monday. I mean, no, it's Monday today. If I didn't tell you guys, my class days are Monday. Wednesday and Thursday from 9 no from 5 to 9 p.m. so we're doing the uh, part-time night shift class um what was I saying see what I mean I just forget everything I really don't remember what I was talking about <laughs> okay so like I was saying on Monday we she told us what we're gonna be doing we actually have already been assigned something we, she wants us to read chapter 8 by uh, Wednesday. So what we're going to be doing on Wednesday, I keep saying Monday. Wednesday, which is our next class day. Tomorrow's Tuesday, I don't have class. And then Wednesday, Thursday, I have class again. So on Wednesday, she wants us to read chapter 8. And then she said we're going to be doing some theory, just talking about it for the first half of class. And then the second half of class, we're actually going to be like doing some hands-on. We're going to partner up and we're going to uh, be practicing our manicures. I forgot what she said. I think it's a wet manicure, which I don't know how to do that. So <laughs> I'm actually very excited to learn how to do that. And she was just talking more so about um, just what she can teach and the amount of time. She's, she was explaining to us how fast 250 hours is. So that's how long in New York State um, the nail program is. So 250 hours. And we were doing full time that the class would actually be done in eight weeks. So she was just trying to explain to some students. Um, I feel like I don't even, I mean, I don't want to sound, I am getting my license because it's required by the state to do what I want to do. And obviously I'm excited and eager to learn everything they're going to teach us, but I would not be going to school if it wasn't required by law, honestly. But she was explaining to other students who, you know, don't know, they're just very like new in the nail career. They're just starting off and she's trying to explain to them that she wants to teach everything, all the modern techniques and everything, but there's certain things that are required. She was explaining that she wants to teach everything, but there are certain things that are required that you need to get your license which is what people are coming to the class for to get licensed and then later on you can learn those other things like gel x extensions is not going to be taught and like a lot of stuff like poly gel all that new stuff that's coming out it's not actually required to um get licensed so she was trying to explain to um some students that like it's only eight weeks and she has to teach you it's not eight weeks for us but if it was like full time she it's 250 hours which is not a lot of time so um, she has to teach us what we need to know to actually pass our state boards. That's her main purpose. So she's she was, I mean, I totally understand. So she was just trying to explain to some people, like, she her main goal is to get us to pass state boards. Um, I 
that's what I'm coming for. <laughs> that's what I want to do. I want to be able to pass my um, state boards, my practical, and my written exam. That's what I want. Um, I don't really care to learn Jellix or anything like that. But, you know, she said she's, um, at whatever time we have spare time, she's going to definitely teach whatever else she can. I mean, honestly, both of them seem like great teachers. I'm super excited to um, have them as my teachers. I'm just super excited to be in the class. Um, I'm even excited to read chapter eight tonight. So <laughs> it's like, why am I excited? It's school and everything. And it's crazy. Also, what I wanted to talk about more was um, the rules. So I know in the beginning of the vlog, I was saying I wanted to bring you guys with me to nail school every day. And I wanted you guys to be involved and in how I didn't see a lot of that out there on YouTube already. Well, it's school and they have rules and it's just, I mean, I should have thought about that. So I, that's probably why most people, that's why probably why there's not a lot of it out there. We are not allowed of phones whatsoever in class. No phones. You can have it like in your pocket for, um, if you get a call or something, but the call must be taken outside. Phones are not allowed out in class. So that's, <laughs> I know I said I wanted to do that, but I don't think it's going to be possible. I probably could sneak and do it, you know, but I don't want to disrespect my teachers in that way. I don't want to go behind their back doing that. Um, so it's not going to be what I wanted this series to be about, but I'll probably still include, you know, my nail school vlogs and what I learn and stuff in my regular um, weekly vlogs that I um, do or whatever. They're not actually weekly, but <laughs> I post like a couple vlogs a month. Um, so I'll definitely be including nail school in those vlogs and what I learned and what I did in school that day and everything. Um, but I'm not going to bring my phone in class. They don't allow it. And I'm not going to disrespect from them, them in that way. So they're very strict on a lot of things. Attendance is, you know, <laughs> you have to be there to get the hours. You're not going to pass the course. And if you miss like... Um, two weeks in a row or 14 I think it's like 14 days in a row New York State that's the state I live in they automatically like without even the school's permission they'll drop you out the program like and it doesn't it doesn't even have to be school days so we go three days a week if you miss six class days you're still gonna be dropped like you have to be and it's consecutive it has to be in a row but like it's just a lot stricter than I imagined um <laughs> so <laughs> yeah and I live an hour away so I'm I'm gotta make sure I'm on my my game that I don't miss any days and to make up time you have it's only like a couple it's only like two days a week and a couple hours in those two days that you can go in to make up time and my teacher actually does so much like she's there from she does she teaches three classes so she said she teaches esthetician waxing and nail specialty they're not combined in the school I go to. They're separate classes at separate times on separate days of the week. So she's there all the time, like 24-7. I don't even understand when she goes home from the way she explained it. <laughs> she's there from the time the school opens until the time our class ends on most days. So, yeah, I definitely respect both my teachers so much. They seem like great ladies. Um, I can't remember their names at the moment, but I have our main teacher and then uh, she has a co-teacher this year and our co-teacher is amazing too she's younger she's kind of closer to uh, most of the girls in the class age I think the youngest girl is 18 and I don't know how old the oldest is but we're all pretty young so and she's kind of closer to our age um I should probably stop talking and get into the kit I just want to make sure I'm not forgetting anything because I always forget things to say that I wanted to say but I haven't opened anything in here yet. They gave us a checklist of like the stuff that's supposed to be in um the kit. But we went over that in class. We didn't open anything though. And I'm just sitting on the floor. So this is my bed in the back. But it's so much stuff. This is um the first bag. And there's a, another carry case in this box they said that's full of stuff already. So we're going to get in this into this bag first. So this is the drill, which it's not the drill that they showed us <laughs> on orientation that we were supposed to be getting. It doesn't look like the best drill to me. The handle looks really big and clunky, not easy to hold. So I'm not excited about that. I'm going to actually open it. Oh, here's another rule. We are not allowed to bring in any um, outside products. Like we can only 
use what they give us, which I actually was only going to use what they give us anyways because I wasn't going to spend money out of my own pocket to provide products for clients who come in to get their nails done for me to not get the profit from it. But even even the prices that they charge for our models to come in are super cheap. Like manicure, $5. Pedicure or any acrylic set is $10. Um, yeah, I think the highest is $10 for anything that they get. But they can tip us, so that's nice. This is just the inside of the box and it comes with the manual. The drill could still be nice. I just really like a slimmer handpiece. I don't like holding something so big. It's light, so that's good. It's made out of um, all plastic for sure. But I hope it works in here. I'm, this is the one I'm going to be using in class. We can bring outside stuff like um, our, our favorite brushes or pretty sure we can bring our own nail drill and stuff like that. But I don't want to bring my drill to class. I just want to use what they give us because I need mine at home for my clients. I don't need anything to happen to it, you know? So we can bring our own uh, tools, but we can't bring our uh, products that we're going to be using on clients. They said for insurance purposes, if, if somebody has like a bad allergic reaction or something, they have to make sure we're using the products they provide and not something contaminated or from home or whatever. Because they don't know what some people have, you know? And this, they said, is the odorless kit that you have to use at state boards. So she doesn't want us to open this. She says, okay, so the way our New York State State Boards work, I don't know about other states, but they recently switched to odorless kits, I guess. They don't like the smell on them or something. But when you bring in your odorless kit, your acrylic or your liquid cannot be open. If it's like you can't bring an open um, container into State Boards, you know, they, it has to be what they what State Boards provides and what they say you're allowed to use. So this is odorless and we also have to learn how to use an odorless system which, it, you know, now that State Boards requires us to use odorless acrylic. So, we are not allowed to open this until State Boards. <laughs> but she did tell us to take the nail tips out and put it with the rest of our stuff. So, yeah. When State Boards comes around, you cannot use any any open products. You have to uh, have, you have to come with your own products and they have to be sealed. And it has to be this, which you got in school. So, I'm, she said to leave this home with our stuff so this is gonna stay home i'm gonna put it away next we got this hand it's um on the side here it doesn't i don't know i'm gonna open it real quick i've never used a hand like this but we also got the regular trainer hands that most people start with i never liked the trainer hands to be honest i never used one like this but a regular trainer hand i never liked it's super hard to work on the tips always popped off when I filed and everything like that so I was never a big fan of it um this one is cool looking though the nail I don't know how it works I'm sorry I'm in my room so the light sucks I don't have my ring light in here but the nail beds go in pretty deep you can see the shadows so I think you just stick something I don't know I'll find out in school how to use this but I probably will use this one more than the other one because I know I don't like that one but we're also allowed to practice on ourselves, but you're not, another rule, you're not allowed to do any um, self, what did she say? Something. You can't work on yourself at class because you're, she said it's taking the opportunity away from somebody else practicing and that's not fair to the other students when they could be practicing on you. So when you don't have to let anybody practice on you, but you're not allowed to work on yourself in class. You need to be working on a different, another student or a model or somebody who just walks in. So yeah, you're not allowed to work on yourself in class. Um, that's another rule, but this is our apron. This is um, a manicure bowl we got. These are extra tips for your nail trainer. And then these two fingers. I never use one of these either, so I don't know. I like working on real hands. I never um, practice on any of these. I learned how to do it on myself. So that's how I learned, but I'm going to try it out. <laughs> and then we got... We actually got three textbooks, but we only are bringing these two home. The other one is, I guess, um, 
these are textbooks but the other one is a test booklet so i think that's what we taste all, take all of our tests in and then we've got the regular um trainer hand that is always used it looks like the basic one to me and it's the actual brand you know like the nail trainer brand and now we're gonna get into this box right here i'm gonna cut it open and then i'll be right back it's heavy so i think she said it's the um like the case carrying case but it's already full of c and d products which is the brand that we use apparently and i've never tried c and d so we'll see okay i got it open and now right now all i see is bubble wrap carry case i'm really tempted to pop this bubble wrap but i know you guys would probably be annoyed oh a couple other things that i wanted to say that i just remembered we also she also wants us to start bringing um which is like common sense but i didn't think about it we need to get a notebook um for taking notes we need a highlighter and pens obviously which you know i should have had that stuff today and i was very unprepared because i did not have that stuff today <laughs> Okay, this is the case. It looks nice quality. Um, I know one of the girls who had already took in the esthetician course, she said she didn't like the case that the stuff came in, but this one looks pretty good to me. And then right here, I think this is all the stuff that comes in it. I tried to move the camera to a different angle so you guys can see me as I open it, but I can't run a good angle just because i'm in my room right now and i don't have my ring light or my tripod so sorry guys i'm opening it up now Oof. it's so much bubble wrap that i want to pop it looks i don't know i like these little compartments so first thing I see is a file and buffer set. They just look like regular file and buffers. That's something that I might be bringing to class if I am going to be working on people. I just don't want to be using bad nail files or anything like, you know, it's going to make my life harder. So. Even though I have to pay for them, I don't know. I hope the brush, the files that they give and stuff are good. But I'm very particular. I need a good file, especially since I do most of my filing by hand. And I hope this brush is good too, just because you could always use another brush. But it looks very thin. Mm. But it's a number eight, which you know, number eights are smaller. And like I said, everything in this kit is from C and D. So I don't think I'll probably. I don't think I'll try any of this stuff out tonight. But I probably will get into some of it tomorrow goodness focus yeah so it's a cnd round brush number eight and i like pre-pinched brush brushes too so i might try to pre-pinch this i don't know and then there's just another buffer right here This letter is saying that they had to substitute something in the kit, but then it says that the substitution was unavailable. So I guess they're just not in there and we don't get a substitution. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I don't know what's in this box. We're going to open it. Oh, this is a nice case. It's probably like keto cool nippers and nail trimmers and... Oh, yeah, we've got a really nice um, cuticle pusher, really good, high quality, thick one, um, some stork scissors, cuticle nippers, tip cutters, regular nail clippers. The lighting is so bad in here, but I'll show all this stuff in a better lighting tomorrow. This cuticle pusher, it looks so nice. Looks like such good quality. There's two of them. I'm ready to learn how to do these manicures too because I've been trying to get my um, just cuticle areas looking nicer in general, just cleaner. Like I've been watching Russian manicure tutorials on YouTube and stuff 
because I love the way a nice Russian manicure makes your cuticles look just clean and it's winter too so a lot of my clients have been coming in with just some rough looking nails and cuticles and they never put on cuticle oil at home or anything so oh tips and these are um curved and that's why I made this face but they've got natural and clear um curved nails are fine it's just kind of I don't know I haven't done them in so long I'm just so used to working on straight nails but you know curved nails are coming back I see a lot of people doing them again so yeah good I guess it's good that I got these in here that I can start using them more because I probably would never use these again and this looks so nice and organized in here oh I want to show you guys that I don't know. Hold on. It looks so nice and organized. Everything has a section and yeah. Okay, the first thing is um cuticle away. It's a professional cuticle remover. We'll probably be using that for all of the manicures. Um, and then we have Scrub Fresh. This is a nail surface cleaner, probably like a dehydrator, alcohol based solution. And we have a salt scrub and a mineral bath. So, so there's a lot of manicure stuff, which I'm excited to start learning because clients have asked me before if I provide just regular gel manicures and I don't because I don't know how to do them. So yeah, you know, I can definitely learn some stuff from school. <laughs> regular um, nail polish, which... I'm not a fan of, yeah, I hate waiting for stuff to dry, but it's a pretty color. It's like a, um, a shimmery red. I'm going to put everything back how it was. Hold on. Because it looks so nice in here, and I don't want to make it all unorganized already. And I've got to add all the extra stuff they gave me that wasn't in the kit into this kit. I probably will still get a bigger one, even though this looks like it's pretty good quality. It's not going to be enough to fit all this stuff in. I almost wore and then hard gel, which I... No, this is acrylic. This is clear. Uh, such a tiny tube. What am I going to do with this? What is this? Two ounces? This is eight ounces. This is uh, sheer pink. This one, clear. Okay, this is intense pink, and this is a blush pink. They both say they're sheer, though, not cover. And then this is a white. I hope those aren't the only colors for the sake. They said we can't bring any anything. We can't bring any like of our own products. So I hope those aren't the only colors they have in class also. I hope we don't just have to do white and pink nails. That would suck. The next thing is an almond moisture scrub. These all look so nice. Like, they look so nice. I want to smell that. I can't. I don't want to open it right now. Next, we have cuticle care, which is a cuticle oil. I want to open this too. <laughs> Love a good cuticle oil. Mm, and it smells like almond, just like the other one I have. I love almond. Dang, I can't read nothing on here, though. Kid oil. And then I think this is our monomer. This is low odor monomer. And... This is, I guess, a regular odor monomer. So one's a low odor and one is regular. These are pretty small too. And then we have a acid-free nail primer. These are a couple of dappin dishes, and they come with lids. The 
this is a moisturizing remover so it's a um dehydrator i guess so i'm not sure what the other stuff is i don't know i'll learn i'm not very familiar with cnd products at all i've never used anything from cnd so i guess these are just sculpting forms in this box it's just a bunch of forms so we'll probably be using these more often than the tips since we have there's 200 of these and these tips there are a hundred a piece but like you can use every single form and you can't use every single nail tip so we'll probably be using forms more often than tips um i have hand cleanser i've never used cnd like i keep saying but the, their products look really nice like it, just the packaging you know first impressions the packaging is all so nice see this is a top coat i think it's a gel top coat yep just a regular gel top coat And then we have a hand lotion. It's almond scented. Oh, I love almond. It's like my favorite scent. Um, we have an almond milk bath. And a hydrating oil. That is everything in the kit. Other than I didn't go, with, go through what's in this. Um little older acrylic set that we are not supposed to open because i'm not supposed to open it but it looks like there's primer a dap and dish um our acrylic monomer glue and there was tips but we had we took those out a nail file and a brush so i'm gonna put everything in this kit and um i'll see you guys on Wednesday. I'm not going to bring you into class like I said, but I will go over what we do in class and everything. Hey guys, I just wanted to pop back in to say I opened this um, nail trainer and this like, you know, the brand nail trainer everything. This hand looks so much better than the one I got that I was trying to um, practice on that the fingers kept popping off when I filed and everything. I'm going to turn it around so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so you can see the brand thing is right on there. But first of all, the size of the nails are different like this you know and the one i have all the fingers are the same size except the thumb is a little bit bigger i didn't cut these yet this is how it came but the um you can see that the size of the nails are different and they these do not like these um tips are not coming off easy if i would have done this with my other hand the things would have flew off already but yeah you gotta you gotta um actually pop them out and I just like this one a whole lot better already and the clamp seems pretty good so i actually probably will be using this i thought i was just gonna be mostly practicing on people but i think i will give this one a try it seems so much better than the other one i had so i wanted to say that since i was talking so much trash about how i hate these <laughs> um and this is how i've got my uh kit packed so far I just kind of organize everything. I put my drill in here. And I also want to say that the drill looks a lot nicer, too, than I was, you know, saying. I like, hold on. I like how it sits in here, first of all. That's super cute. Love that. And just this, the motor alone is really small. So I like that. And this is plastic, yeah, but it's so light. Like, and if I hold it down here, it's really not all that thick. But it's so light. It's so much lighter than my other one honestly than my um stephanie one that i use all the time and that's the brand so i'll see how it works but i'm sure it will it will work good you know they wouldn't give us a terrible drill but it's it's really small which i like about that a lot too but yeah that's just how i have the kit packed so far i'm still putting everything away okay guys i'm back on here one more time for the night i wanted to show you guys the apron and i actually love it i mean it looks kind of funky but um, maybe when I wash it, all these wrinkles and stuff will go away. But the material 
is really nice. I don't know, you can tell what it is by looking at it, but it has one pocket right here, one pocket right here, and then two down here. I think these pockets will definitely come in handy um, during school for me to put my stuff in and work around, you know? Like my personal stuff that I don't want any of the girls to take or anything. So, and I also wanted to hop on here and say one more thing that I forgot. Um, some of the girls were talking and they were saying how they are also already taking clients. So that just made me, you know, feel better about me already taking clients. Um, they didn't, I'm, I'm not going to say that I have been because I don't want to get in trouble or anything. But yeah, I just wanted to say that I'm not the only one. Um, but we're all working towards getting our license now. So that's good. Okay guys, hey, it's the next day. Now it's Wednesday and I just wanted to go over with you guys what's in um, the cases now, how I organize them. Um, so you already know what's in them, but I'm going to show you how I organize them and how I got it all to fit and to these two things until I can get a bigger one. And then we're going to test some of the products out, see how they work. So, okay, so first I'm going to show you guys how I got the case all set up and organized. So when you first open it, I, you get these um, things right here that fold out this way. They're two little stack shelves. And um, right in here, I just put all of like the files and then the extra sanding bands for my drill and the um, replaceable tips for my nail trainer. That's what I put in the first one. Then you lift it up and I have the cord for my hand piece and my drill right here. And I have my nail brush. And then you get down into this part and I have my, um, I don't know, the rubber-ish hand and my nail drill and the cord for my nail drill and then, ex and then more of these um, extra nail trainer tips right here in this section. And everything else is still the same way of how it was, how they had packed it. So the only thing that I added in here was um, the nail tips, my nail drill. The silicone hand and it all fit pretty nice this you know the drill just i kind of put in here and i also added these two fingers um that they gave us these two little fingers so yeah it all fit it all fits nice in here i just only i didn't want to put my um nail drill in this bag because i didn't want it to get knocked around and broken I did break my McCart drill before by dropping it, so I know drills can definitely be fragile. So I wanted to put it in this case to give it some protection. Um, so that's all that I have in here. Only thing I added was uh, the hand, the nail drill, and the nail trainer tips. Everything else was already um, in this kit package, you know? And it closes really nice still. Like I could still put something else on top of this hand, something big if I needed to, because there's still a bunch of space. Now, in this bag, this is where I really kind of stuffed it up. <laughs> in this front pocket, I put all of, well, not all of the nail tips. I put two packs of um, nail tips. I it got, we've got three, but I put two packs of nail tips in the front. And that's actually, I took the nail tips out of the, um, out of the case to put in here. Because I just thought I could make, this, like, better space for them. So I put the nail tips, two packs of nail tips in this front pouch. And then you open up the main compartment. Oh my God, guys, there's a back compartment that I didn't even know about. So what I'm actually gonna do is put my, cause I got this notebook too that I was gonna show you guys. I was gonna tell you I didn't know where to put it, but I'm gonna put this notebook. Wow, right in this back compartment. I probably end up putting all my textbooks back here to separate my textbooks from like actual nail supplies. So I'm gonna put my um, my textbook and my notebook back here along with highlighters. So now to open up the actual main compartment, the big one. So in here, first we've got my textbooks, which I'm gonna take out and move to the back now. And then I have my um, manicure bowl, my nail trainer hand, if it's nice in there, if you fold it like a U. And I ha I took this out of the case too, see? I just kind of took the bigger stuff that I thought wouldn't close well in there and put it in here. And then my um, cuticle prep kit. And 
just an extra pack of nail tips that wouldn't fit in the front compartment. And I also have the instructions for my um, nail drill in here, just in case I need them for something. I don't know. Okay, guys, I'm going to open the brush now. And this is all I'm going to be testing from the kit. I've got the clear, um, the white, uh, the rose blush, and the intense pink. Blush pink and intense pink. Like I said, this brush is a number eight, so it's small. Um, I feel like it's kind of thin, but I don't know. I think it's just because it's a number eight, and I've been working with... Um, a 12 recently so I think I gotta get used to that I really like how it has this sharp end though like if you get something stuck on your nail you could just scrape it away real quick I like that and I like that the handles not wood because my favorite brush is a alpha brush with a wooden handle and I've messed it up with acetone I really just stripped the handle of the paint so Okay, and I got this little dappin' dish from my kit too. I haven't used it yet. And I just decided to test out the low odor monomer. Um, so. Got the monomer, and now I'm just gonna prep my brush. Get all the air bubbles out, all the, um, you know, the, the glue stuff they put on it to keep its shape while shipping. Honestly, it doesn't look like Kalinsky to me, but it doesn't claim to be Kalinsky. So we're going to see how it works. Um, so how I'm going to do this is I'm going to do um, just uh, beads of each of each color so we can see the color difference but I'm only gonna do like a full swatch of one of these just so I'm not here all day I want to see the consistency so I do want to build a full nail with one which will probably be the clear because I'm probably gonna be working with clear most often and then we'll just test the other colors so I'll test the colors first and then we'll see oh I guess there's no seals on these I'll test the colors first and then we'll see how I can build a nail Yeah, no seal but I mean it came in a sealed <laughs> case so you know I don't think anybody was messing with them or anything and this monomer is very low odor especially compared to Mia Secret but Mia Secret is definitely probably one of the strongest smelling monomers I've ever used but yeah this monomer smells pretty great <laughs> I mean it smells like monomer but it's not very strong at all so I'm just really making sure to get all the air bubbles out and I don't know really um, my liquid and powder ratio with the system yet, so we'll find that out. Sheer, just a nice sheer pink, translucent, a little bit kind of like a purpley hue to it. This is just more of a softer um, pink, very, just very much a baby, baby pink. And I'll give you guys a close up of the colors once I swatch them all. And now we're going to do the white. Just a bright white. And the consistency on the white is definitely a bit different than the rest or from those two at least but they always they almost always are whites are always almost always just a weird consistency i'm gonna build this on top of this tip this brush is i don't know it's very long the handle is very long it's just picking up very small beads and it's gonna like take me forever to cover this whole tip but it actually is not sticking to my brush whatsoever so far so that's great and the consistency is it's good i like the consistency of this product i'm not having any problems with it i just need to get used to my liquid to powder ratio i just this bead is definitely a little bit wet 
I could have stood to use a dryer bead. Okay, so it's definitely um, blending into the other bead that I placed very, very nicely. Uh, it, yeah, it's blending into the other bead that I placed very, very nicely. It is just taking a long time because this brush is so small. But if I just dip a couple times, I am able to get a bigger size bead, like a pretty a pretty decent size bead for the brush. And then I just wait for it to polymerize, tap off the extra, and it's ready to go. Now that I'm done with my brush, I'm just going to dip it back in the monomer and I'm gonna roll it back into a point to keep its shape. And the brush worked very nice. I have no problems with the brush. I think it's nice. I think it's just small. Um, so I probably still will bring a bigger size brush just because I like working with a bigger size brush. I started with a number eight, but I'm now on a 12 and I actually wanna move up to a 14, so. I'm going to show you guys these colors uh, up close and personal, and I'm also going to show you just the, the swatch I did, but I got it pretty smooth, just a regular swatch, and it was easy to work with. Okay, guys, and these are the colors. This one is the uh, um, intense pink. This one is the blush pink. This one is the pure white, and then this is our clear, and I think these dots on here represent transparent colors and then opaque colors, and that's why that one is black because these are all see-through and this one is not also i do notice that there's like some yellow bleeding on the paper towel where i did the swatches it's like it's just a little bit of yellow but i don't see the acrylic yellowing and it is it's dry like i can tap it and you can hear the sound so it's all dry now i don't see it yellowing but i do see it coming out on the paper towel but as long as the acrylic's not yellowing and then this um is the clear and this one's not fully dry because i just did it but I think it's gonna come out pretty clear just because these are so clear and they're obviously based on this clear so I definitely like the C&D brand and I like the brush um so I'm excited to continue working with it and I, the next time I'm gonna see you guys is tomorrow on my way to class so I'll see you then okay guys day two of class I'm here it's 4 54 um, I'm about to just go in I'll see you guys on my break and I'll let you know how it goes. Okay guys, I'm on my dinner break for school. It's 6.55 right now. We get 30 minutes. Um, first half of class, we just did, we went over all of our, um, what the chapter we had to read. Uh, what night was it? Monday night. We went over the chapter we had to read Monday night. Um, I think I put in a clip and we uh, had like a little questions to answer review questions and stuff second half we are supposed to be doing some manicuring and it's going to be seven so we'll have like two hours of that um so first half is pretty boring so far just you know reading but you know educational still i'm learning stuff you know learning technical terms that i didn't know before and uh, stuff like that but yeah now i'm just on dinner break so i'm gonna eat and then we'll go back in in 30 minutes <laughs> Today is day three of class, last week, last day of this week's vlog. I've got all my stuff and I'm about to head out the door. Okay guys, I didn't uh, check in last night after class, but I made it home in like 45 minutes, which was great. But in class, we just went over our chapter. Um, I think it was, yeah, we went over chapter eight in class. And then we had some review questions on it. And then after that, we did uh, manicures on each other. So that was nice. I got a, I got a manicure. Um, I still have some acrylic left on my nails though. Cause I tried to soak them off because I, I knew she said we were going to be doing that. So I tried to soak them off but I didn't have enough time before class to get every single thing off. So I still have a little bit of acrylic on my nails but yep, I still got a manicure by one of the girls. Um, so yeah, today they said we're going to be going over 
Um, we're gonna have a test on chapter eight and then we're gonna be doing a uh, theory on chapter 13. I don't know what else we're doing today in class, but this is gonna be the last day of the vlog this week. So I'm on my way there now. I actually was running late. I didn't leave the house until like exactly four o'clock, but I'm pretty sure I'll still get there with like five minutes to spare. So yeah, I'll see you guys after class. <laughs> Okay guys, hey, first half of class was cool. We had a test. Um, first half of class was cool. We had a test. I'm pretty sure I did pretty good, but I didn't know we could have notes. I guess I wasn't paying attention yesterday because everybody had a whole sheet of notes and they got to use them on their test and I didn't have anything, but it's okay. We're, I think we're gonna go over it when we get back the second half, but I'm pretty sure I did fine. I'm pretty sure I passed it. Um, and we just went over chapter 13 and now we're gonna go back in after break. We'll go back at like 7.30 and we're gonna finish up all the manicures that didn't get done yesterday. So that's gonna be it for today, I think. I don't know if we're doing anything else. I'll tell you guys when I check in after. Okay guys, I'm home now after our dinner break. Uh, we just came back in class and we went over our tests and I'm pretty sure, I can't remember exactly, but I think there was 42 questions and I got an 86. So I'm happy with that. Um, you have to have a 76 to pass. That's the school's, like that's what you need to pass for my school. So yeah, I got an 86, I passed, so that's great. Um, and I knew I was getting a couple wrong as I was marking them, I knew I didn't know the answer. So I'm gonna go over the ones I got wrong and everything and learn the correct answer. <laughs> um, but then we, um, after that, we just watched a couple of videos on per proper procedure of cleaning your manicure station, your pedicure station, how to clean your implements and how to um, disinfect and clean uh, with pathogens and stuff like that. Um, and then after we watched those videos and talked about that for a while, we just got together as a group and we made some disinfectant solution, cleaning solutions, like we did it with Quats, that's the brand our school uses, so we like, not barbicide Quats, it's just another, it's just a different type of cleaning solution. So we made some of that together and then that was it for today's class. So that's going to be it for my first week in nail school and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I I, I know it wasn't what I wanted to do. I know I wanted to get more um, footage in class and everything for you guys, but um, I don't know really how to go forward with this series now. I'm thinking maybe I could do a once a month check-in um, because I'm going to be in school for five months. So I could do a once a month check-in and tell you guys what we've learned so far, what we're doing in class now, and I could include little clips of like... Um, any clients that I take in class or any new techniques or stuff that I learn in school. So I think that's how I want to do it. I'm not sure. I don't know if you guys will, I know it's not very fun just watching me pop back in and out and telling you guys what I did instead of you seeing it. I know it'd be a lot better if you could see it. So if you guys just comment down below and let me know if you want me to keep doing vlogs like this or the once a month check-ins with little clips from class or, um, or what <laughs> or if you guys care at all if you want to see this at all just let me know comment it down below um i'm super i'm just super excited to be in school i've been waiting so long for this opportunity so i did want to share it with everybody but that's gonna be it for my first week of nail school and i really hope you guys enjoyed and if you did then check out some of my other videos <laughs>